Changing Care projects are our attempt to model a different way for healthcare organizations and staff to work directly with family members to create a good patient experience, a good caregiver experience, and a good health system experience. The Point of Care Foundation has a deep and long history in working directly with patients, family caregivers and staff to co-design, in other words, do it together, really good processes for care. My thinking evolved today primarily around the strategies of discovery and looking at uh, more qualitative methods like shadowing, interviewing, observation and the power of those. Um, in helping you understand where you should head next in collaboration with family and caregivers. Using a structured approach like uh, experience-based co-design ensures that everyone has a voice. All the stakeholders in the process have a voice throughout the design, implementation and evaluation of any change that's implemented. This drives ownership, it drives consistency and it uh, ultimately arrives to the conclusion and the result that everyone was agreeing upon that needs to be taken care of. After yesterday I've realized that my assumptions of what were priority needs and possible innovations are just assumptions and until I meet with caregivers and patients and more providers I really don't know what the need is and I need their help to develop the innovation. My thinking is always evolving and uh, one of the things that I really thought today was how important that is to ensure that we do things in such a way that thinking can evolve and will, can continue to evolve. So whatever we do we'll have to evolve with a changing healthcare system and we need to ensure that uh, we can build in those processes. For me again it was less about a new learning but a reinforcement and the comment made by one of the facilitators that the story belongs to the person telling it really brought home that whole idea of um, engaging but also ownership. This project can help inspire healthcare providers to really leverage and value the knowledge that caregivers bring as part of the team. So caregivers have a body of knowledge about patients that is really informative to the care planning process and when we don't tap into that we're missing out and possibly even affecting patient outcomes negatively. If there's one thing we can do, it would be that healthcare providers, when caregivers are in the room, just thinking of them as another book to tap into, another, another book to open to learn about the patient so that the patient's experience and outcomes can improve. As a family caregiver, I'm going to make sure that my voice is heard throughout the entire co-design process. Um, as we take our project forward. As a caregiver, a, a new, fairly new caregiver, is, is to listen attentively, is to be more compassion, uh, show a lot of compassion and care towards her, and it's her needs, her needs come first. I want to see the caregiver experience remain connected in a meaningful way through the entire continuum of care. The thing that I'm hoping they take away from this is that they don't do anything in isolation. So you don't have caregivers going off and doing something alone and you don't have staff going off and doing something alone. That every piece of the project is done jointly and together and is co-designed and if they've got that message then the training was successful.